Hello and welcome back to stumbling uh, in the old city and uh, hopefully not dying. Yep, that's the plan. You find stairs carved into the cliff. They are disconcertingly narrow in some places and broken in others, but they appear to lead all the way uh, to the bottom. Inspect the path. From here, the way down looks stable enough. However, you see a gap about halfway down the cliff. You find stairs carved into the cliff. Yeah. Climb down the steps. Halfway down, you reach a spot where the stairs have crumbled away. Only a narrow ridge remains. Yet in the darkness, your keen senses detect another shape just below the gap. It's a ledge. The remains of some old building. More importantly, it looks wider and more stable than the ridge of crumbled stairs. Uh, shimmy across the ledge, attempt to cross the crumbling ridge. <clears throat> Let's just shimmy across the ledge. The ledge proves sturdy and allows you to easily cross the gap. You continue down the stairway until you reach the muddy ground below. Okay. Hmm. How big is this place? Damn, I miss sailing. <laughs> Once I got into Nekataka. Uh, we're here for a... Well. We've been here for a... Some time now. But, seems like uh, this is a, a challenge that we can deal with, so... And maybe it's uh, intended uh, for us. However, we only have scale up, so... So, uh, this, this challenge is at least on our level, or lower. I kinda like scale up. I think, it, so far, it's working really, really well. We don't really have those super easy fights. Sometimes we have uh, hard fights, but overall, it's a uh, it's a good success. It's success. Uh, it looks like it's a bigger area. I see it would need would not well it would need low time would be shorter. Right game. Alright, here we go. This is a pretty big area. This is the proper old city. Saber. Scallywags. Scallywags. Can I just do an essential phantom? Can I deal with these guys? Seems like there are like one or two guys over here. Maybe they are just too many. No can do. Wow, that's that's a lot of guys. Are they immune to mind effects? Because the building spectacle seems like a good one. Also, we can do a uh, consecrated ground. Along with uh, Moon Val. Uh oh. Yeah, I was concerned about that. Okay, let's just do the storm. I need to use my empower. Chill fog would help? Maybe it would help. He's almost dead. Yeah, heal yourself. 
Just survive. Let's go. Well, I think he's doing a good job. Should I put down a firewall? Maybe I should put down an essential phantom again. What are you doing, man? I just take them out. Okay, quite a tough fight. In the lower city. After it. Take that. Sigil of Nightmares? Is that about to hit me as well? No problem. If you can run away, uh, that's good. Maybe we gotta do a rest. Considering that we already pretty uh, injured. Seems like resting is just fine. I don't have to care too much about it. Uh, yeah, sure. A lot of fancy gems. I smell shadow. Are they weak to anything? They are resistant to cold and fire. We don't. We do know that much. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can you mind control him? No, it's pretty unlikely. Can you save yourself? No, he can't save himself. Only ally. Uh, how about get saved by someone else? That's gonna be a good start. Yeah, that was a odd fireball. Let's do a bewildering spectacle. They're confused now. What? He's dead again? Your image. Just heal. You need to be healed up. After that, I really want to do a devotion of the faithful. It's gonna help a lot. Yeah, he's really getting murdered. Okay, he's not dead, but I'm really struggling to do any impact, uh, any, any progress in the shades. Still the one getting focused by all the shadows. Let's go. Does help. This thing isn't doing the job. It makes yeah. no difference. After him. Okay. And there is very tanky. Yeah. 
So, I got a pretty tanky team overall. But got it. We're kind of struggling with uh damage. And I think yes, in this game, if you have a one weak guy, I the enemies are gonna focus him. Like for example, they what for, decided that Seraphin is the easy peasy uh, mark there, and they didn't rest until he was dead. Yeah, I think he has the best armor. I can give him right now. Heavy armor. It's a good light armor, but... It's definitely a risky one to run, I guess. Old city ruins. Like, come on! <laughs> this place is huge. Could be a fight. Yeah, that's a fight. After him. <laughs> that's definitely a fight. Cannot save while in combat. I suppose. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh oh. That's not what we want to see. Let's do a quick heal on everybody. Okay. Let's do the buff. I just get so overrun. He has no uh, defensive skills. Uh, Takehu. Is that you? So Takehu's dead. They overrun me again. I need to play more strategically. Stay back. Can you just charm one of them? Can we do that? For example, this corpse hit the guy. Dominated. Great. Now suddenly, it looks a lot better. Now you charm two of them. I guess. But... Hmm... That's not the best. I can see charm the guy again. Can we just take out the corpse eater fella? Let's go. Mad Harvester. Sigil of Darkness as well. Flash monstrosity. Let's do the heal. Okay. Oh, well, we're making progress. You sure you can charm him? It actually worked. So we can't take this down. Sigil of Darkness is immune to everything. Which is a bummer. Oh, Flash Monstrosity. That should be focused down. Ah, well, he's no longer charmed. Fine. I just hit the charm guy. 
exist. It's fine. Just get him. Oh, come on. Charm monster. What? About to die? How did that happen? Finally. Fine. Exceptional dagger. Two exceptional daggers. Three exceptional daggers. Sure. And a exceptional rope as well. And an exceptional rod. I just go away from there. Curse of Darkness. Lowers my accuracy by 25. We can't fight like that. We need to rest. Sigil of Darkness. Yeah, we need to rest. Uh, there's no uh, way around that. Maybe I should wait till someone actually sends me down here. Because I tend to just uh, go to places. Without the quests. And just say like, hey, by the way, I found that while I was there. Just on a vacation. No particular reason for being there. Whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Just pick it up. Old city ruins. Maybe this is a chapel. It's hard to make out. Second. Yeah. Chamber of Tides. Apparently we discovered it. Next to the sealed door is a statue of a woman, cracked and overgrown with moss. Both of her arms are extended toward you, but one of her hands is missing. You notice a rushing, whispering sound coming from your pack. It's the Cornet of Depths. A sound like a, a gentle, crashing surface coming from the shell. Inspect the statue. It looks like a Juana representation of Ondra, where ropes hang like sheets of water, pooling around her feet like rippling currents. You examine the spot where her hand should be, yet the stone of her empty sleeve feels smooth, as if her sculptor had never shaped a hand there to begin with. Her only hand is open, palm up, as if to receive something. The sound of wages, oh, waves uh, grows louder and stronger. Place the conch in the statue's open hand. As you do, the thunderous percussive music of a stormy sea spills out of the conch. Uh, it rises into a wordless melody that reminds you of uh, voices heard from uh, underwater. As the song reaches its crescendo, a deeper rumble fills the air and rattles through your bones. You take the shell back as the music fades. Uh oh. <clears throat> More locations to go to? Uh... Doesn't seem like the kind of place we very much appreciate. Really? Hard to be a farmer or not be thinking Giant about revenge right grub? now. Uh oh. You're going for the charm? Wow, that's cute. 39% chance that it actually works out? That's insane. Let's do Moonbell. Uh, combined with Benediction. What? It worked! Attack it! Let's not bless the giant worm, okay? 
Everybody else? Most definitely yes. What? That's crazy. Charm worked out. Yeah, kill him, worm. It will be so. What? No, no, no! Don't run away. Maybe do a returning storm. Bam. Oh, don't kill him! Damn it! Not good. Can you just do a pain block on Takehu? It might work. Hmm, well, we don't have any more uses of that. Whoa, we are getting destroyed. Can I just do a illusion? I'm getting overrun. I don't know what kind of uh, attack would I need here that makes sense. Because the cave grubs are coming all the time. And that's a major problem. What if I try to charm the the grub again? I can do it with regular charm. It might work. Pretty good chance of that working. Giant cave grub. You gotta help us out. Also, maybe the smoke. Uh, grubs will attack the big one. That would be nice. Uh, yeah, you need to stay the hell back. Also, maybe you change a weapon. Yeah, use a melee weapon. Like, they are in your face already. Come on, attack the big cave grub. What is this fight? Let's do returning storm. Yeah, giant cave grub, you're with me. Okay, maybe you're not with me right now. Puppet master? Oh. It doesn't work. It might work. Should I take out the... the thing is that spo uh, spawned the cave grubs? Oh, it works. It works rather well, actually. Do we have more? All attack it, guys. Oh, that that hurt. That really do did hurt, like a lot. Do you have any kind of heal? Dominated again. Which is a bit silly. Take it out. High defense. Speak your mind. What? It's so damn healthy. Why is it so healthy? Okay. Maybe nature's mark helps. 
Also, we can... Uh, we, we can't, actually. Expose vulnerabilities. That could have been good. Let's do it. The chance that... The chance that it works is so low. Whisper of treason again. Uh-oh. That looks dangerous. Let's try to save the Watcher. Damn. No, 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 just do that. Then... Do a Whisper of Treason. The cave Grub. Didn't work. It worked now. <gasps> Die, giant cave grub. You need something. That will do, I say. Maybe I should flank it. Oh yeah, we can use the essential phantom as well. Poor essential phantom, help us out with this. Your life goal is just to kill this grub. It makes no difference. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Let's charm it again. Time for treason, uh, big grub. Didn't work now. Maybe do a. Uh... What? Where did this grubs came from? We gotta take him out. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, just withdraw him from the fight. Maybe not, actually. Let's just do a heal. If we can charm the grub, that would be epic. Still didn't work. Should I just keep spamming it on him? Alright, nice. Uh, I guess just attack. Uh -uh, didn't work. Yeah, kill the cave grublings. Damn right. The moon's light. Okay. Okay, everybody, kill the big snake. Big cave grub. Is this a way out? No, it's not. What's the chance to hit with this thing? This does not work. 41. It's really not that good. 34. 43, 41. Forty-one as well. Our chance to it is pretty damn low. Come on, kid grub. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Come on, charm it. Perfect. Attack it. Oh, he's back up to a good amount of health. Dominated. That was about as useful as a bump on a Great. 
Onyx larva. Naturally. What's the point of that? Potion of nobody cares. Iron skin potion, sure. A cracked uh, dirt rim carving dominates the wall. In it, two hands rise from curling waves. Sockets like uh, the one in the hand of the statue outside the temple have been carved in the hollowed palms. Both are empty. You will notice a rushing, whispering sound coming from your pack. It's the cornet of depths. A sound like a gentle, crashing surface coming from the shell. Place a couch in one hand. As you do, the thunderous percussive music of a stormy sea spills out of the conch. It rises into a wordless mel melody that reminds you of the voices heard from underwater. The conch glows. Perhaps it's just a trick of the shadows, but the stone hand seems to tighten around it. I lost it! Take it back! As you remove the shell from the socket, its glow dims and its music fades. Inspect the carving. Cracks mold and grime wane the stone. The carving looks ancient and it feels that way too. Smooth with wear. Yet as you run uh, your hands along the stone, you feel a cool whisper of air. It feels like there's a draft coming from the other side. Hmm. S it looks like we're gonna need two of them. This mural depicts the Tempest, those uh, the Kaizo, the origin waters of that surround the lake. Come on! I say it feels close enough to touch. So many fancy words. Uh, Tempestus, uh, water set to surround the legendary city of Ukaizo. So seems like we're gonna get, we're gonna need the other shell to make something happen here. Uh, without it, it's not gonna happen. Oh, would you look at that? Leave it to me. Uh, tick like tar, substance substance sticks to the edges sure. of this massive burrow. Fine breastplate. Sure. Wait a second. Did we pick up some good weapon? One-handed exceptional saber. Long odds. Okay. Can we just run over there? Okay, let's fight like that. And even like this, we are getting overrun. This is bull crap. Gonna come closer. <laughs> yeah, I'm missing a lot of shots. Essential Phantom. Say your prayers. Let's do that. What? How many guys are there? What the hell? Slow down, guys. I think I need to refresh my abilities. Maybe do a chill fog. 
Not sure if that would work. Oh, what the shot. Are they resistant to frost? Apparently they are not. What are you doing? Mere damage. I guess. What is this mess? We had the returning storm already. What? More of them are coming? What's the point of ranged weapons? If you have to fight like 30 guys at the same time. You got no choke point. It's actually possible. Uh oh. But you need to really run back and uh, pick your fights in a way. You need to find a choke point where you have the advantage. Yeah, road gas! Kill the road gas! Let me just kill that guy. Let's go. Should I take that as a no? Okay, sure. Uh, more guys. Ravager is working for me now. I'm just gonna kill that pestilent broadcast. Then we can kill the Ravager as well. These things are easy to hit. Yeah. Also, they are not very tanky. Perfect opponents for us. So. That was kind of crazy. Plus two athletics. Don't you like that? Seems like that is the perfect belt for Adair. This, he really likes athletics. Uh, yeah, I'll just give it to him. And what else? So we found a special sword that is actually pretty decent. Should I use it? Min's fortune. Sorry, sickle. Oh yeah, that but that sickle is complete garbage. I can just give her the sword. Uh, yeah, Adair uses the Whispers of Yenwood. Uh, Watcher uses the Exceptional Great Sword, which is pretty good. Exceptional Rod is good too. I guess we can use that as well. Hmm. It's really not that bad. Espe especially if you use the the special ability as well. EOE oh, attack. Yeah. Enemies around the target. Let's try that. No problem. Okay, let's switch to at least some ranged Fine. weapons. Damn. 
This place has a lot of enemies. But we can deal with them. Fine sword. Perhaps we can sell some of these uh, items. Like Actually buy something. Uh, like legendary and superb gear. In the city. Yeah, that's garbage. Okay, so for this we need an item. The Goulet Falls. How big is this place? Seriously. Wait, what? Sunken city? That's just the middle of it, right? There's nothing here. So, this one had two uh, ways where you can go to. This was one of them. And... Uh, Damn. Old Temple of the Ondra. Old City Ruins. Right. Hmm. I don't even know if this is a different place or just gonna lead me to the place that we actually ignored or uh, didn't choose first time around. It's pretty unlikely that it's gonna lead back to the same place. Damn, Undercity is pretty damn big. But we can deal with it and we're not really learning a lot, unfortunately. That's a bit of a bummer. But you do have the freedom just to um, go and explore on your own, so uh, that's nice, I suppose. Heroes of Dirt One actually ran a lot better. Not sure about the load times. It doesn't really affect uh, the gameplay, just uh, the load times seem to be... Uh, a bit longer than I would like. Okay, a completely new area. <laughs> wow. Anyway, guys, this is it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.